Hey everyone, welcome back to another LEGO video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this LEGO Mini Diesel Knot and how to actually build it. This of course is a miniaturized version of the Diesel Knot set and I know a lot of people are very controversial on this set because you either really love it or you hate it. So I thought, you know what, let's just make a miniature version of it. I wanted to see what I could actually do with this sort of size because I've not really done small scale stuff before like this. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how it actually came out. It looks really nice, and uh, yeah, let's just take a look at it. So starting up at the front, you can see a lot of little detailing with these kind of spike pieces and one of those kind of uh, handlebar pieces to create this kind of front um, bumper sort of detail. As you move back a bit, you can see the treads, which are those kind of really small tread pieces, which actually was just directly taken from the, uh, what was it, the ice tank? the miniature version of that, as it worked really perfectly for the shape, and rather than doing all three kind of axles for the treads, it was just easier to do one small one and one big one to get the shape. Um, furthermore, we have a little bit of kind of rocky detailing that uh, mimics the actual uh, set, as well as this kind of front canopy which covers up where you would actually drive the vehicle. Um, some lights a little bit farther back as well as some more detailing and some interesting techniques to actually attach things onto the side. You've got kind of a smaller wheel up front here with some of the kind of um, sloped pieces to represent this kind of caged area. On one side we have this launcher piece that represents kind of the um, shooter thing that is on one side and on the other side we have this claw that represents of course the claw piece um, that they can use. Um, and you'll notice there's a lot of little details that go inside the sort of uh, crevices of this thing and uh, there's a little kind of um, engine detailing up here before we get to this turret that is up front which is quite nice uh, it's just a miniaturized version of the actual turret as we move back at the very back here you can see there's this cage that is used to hold uh, prisoners and that's pretty much it so let's take a look at how you can actually build this Obviously this is going to be pretty simple and really not that in-depth, I'm just going to kind of overview this entire thing. I'll probably speed it up and I might just talk at some points to explain how the actual thing is done. So this part is kind of the driver's canopy, and this part can be a little bit confusing as that you need two of those kind of hinge pieces uh, in this order.
So I quickly want to talk about how the cage part works, as it can be a little bit confusing with how it's done. Essentially, you have two modified uh, bricks, as well as one of those kind of um, clip plates underneath. And so you're essentially just going to use the sides of the modified bricks to add on the kind of sides of the cage, which are just those kind of sloped uh, one by two cheese wedge pieces. And then you basically just kind of go around in a circular pattern, as you can see, and just add the cage on. You're then going to want to use the um, bar piece that uh, clip to clip on to the other piece and then attach it to the back of the diesel nut. So as one of the final details on this model, you build a chain shooter, which is definitely an interesting element as you have to kind of pay close attention to how it actually is built as it's all built around one modified brick. And so of course on top you have this ingot piece uh, in that light bluish gray. On the sides you have two cheese slopes. On the back you have a lightsaber hilt so that you can actually clip it down. And then in the front you have one of those trans orange claw pieces to represent the actual chain shooter. And so on the bottom actually an interesting little detail is that I use a 1x2 black tile to uh, actually give it a bit of um, shape. And that's actually put in the middle. That's a little bit of an interesting technique there. So watch out for that. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed, remember to subscribe to support my channel and like the video if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming content and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.